Hi, this is Robert Stewart with Hill13.com. Now we're going to talk about tactics for attack and defend. Now, what we've started with here is I've, I've just basically got three players per side, but it could be many more. So we'll let this represent just the movement of forces. Now, to start with, we know that the attackers are going to, to attack. They're going to move out of their bunker, and they're going to come to get the flag. Red team especially if they're inexperienced, might decide to just hunker down inside that bunker, even if the flag were hanging right from the front of it, and just concentrate on maintaining a defensive perimeter right in front of their bunker. Now, against inexperienced players, this might be enough to run the clock out and, and avoid the green team getting to the flag. A more experienced set of players might move out of their bunker and leave one player in the bunker. And the reason for this is pretty apparent when we do this. You have a player here, and a player here, and a player here. Maybe it's a multiple, maybe it's two, two, and two. But what this does is it allows you, this, this guy can protect this guy here off his side. This guy can do the same thing for his teammate. Now the guy in the bunker has a firing position that covers this and also covers this guy's flank and this guy's flank. Now remember, the defenders only have to maintain control of the flag until the clock runs out. So this approach is a little bit more advanced than just bunkering up and hoping for the best. 